Hello Cancer and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading for the 8th of March 2023 for the sign of Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you and the reading can resonate a few days longer than when it's released. We have Manifestation. I just want to look at the bottom of the deck. Friendship. Okay, Cancer, let's see what we have with that. What do we have for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you for the day. Message for Cancer for the day. Thank you. This is the Druid Tarot deck for those of you who are interested. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing and Orchestration. With that, we have the Eight of Swords. Three of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. We have the Five of Swords. I want to stay with this here, Cancer, because the Five of Swords can be somebody who does what they want to do and disregards the other person and they they don't give you a second thought in doing what they want to do it can be hurtful it can cause arguments and conflicts and fallouts even endings of relationships this looks like it's focused on a friendship here um, so if someone's done what they wanted to do and completely disregarded you, not giving you a second thought in terms of what they wanted to do, they just wanted to do it and nothing was going to stop them. And that's the energy here of it could have been disrespectful, hurtful, caused conflicts, even the breakdown of the relationship. The Wheel of Fortune can be divine timing and orchestration. It can be that transmutable energy of endings and beginnings. I feel this person is wanting to turn something around or coming back into your life in some way with a view to potentially either turn something around or it could, it could well bring, bring final closure to a situation. You know, sometimes the Wheel of Fortune gives us the opportunity between endings and beginnings. It can sometimes be that opportunity to start again with this person in our lives or actually close something off that was never fully closed off so bring resolution it feels like you're being given that opportunity to move in whichever direction you choose this can be linked with sometimes chance meetings uh coincidences bumping into somebody you know it can be that kind of energy as well of of just divine orchestration divine timing you're brought together for a reason, but again, it can be somebody's actually wanting to, you know, actively pursue a turnaround. The Eight of Swords, not sure what to do, not sure what to do. The Eight of Swords is someone stuck in their own head. Now, this can be a guarded energy. It can also be, can I, can I let go of what went on between the two of us and truly you know, let go of those negative thought patterns or not. I mean, sometimes what keeps us stuck is the experience that we've already had. And it's whether you want to allow this person in your life or not. But certainly I feel you're stuck in terms of what to do here, which way to go. And it can be whatever experience that you had with this person in the past, you're not sure whether you can move forward. This is somebody who might be stuck in their own thoughts right now on what to do. The Three of Pentacles can be rebuilding. It can be that energy of we can make it work. Can we rebuild the relationship? Can we rebuild, you know, something solid and stable between the what looks like a friendship here? So the two of us. Um, it certainly feels like it's that sense of one step at a time. And that's what's being asked. Somebody wanting to turn things around. I mean, really, the energy here is you have a choice in terms of what you choose to manifest, whether something can be truly turned around or you bring final closure to a situation. Sometimes there's a sense of unfinished business in this kind of reading. Uh, 
where the cords haven't been fully cut and you have an opportunity to, like I said, do one or the other, you know, renew the relationship potentially, it might well be that something requires a little bit more thought here, Cancer, because it doesn't look like you're coming down into a conclusion either way. So let's see what we have. Any other advice for Cancer in this reading, please, Spirit? So your advice, the strength card, the strength to face things that are difficult to face. Be truly honest with yourself. And you know, as part of this process, when we're truly honest with ourselves, we listen to our intuition, which is really our higher self. It's where we're guided by spirit through our instinct in facing this. It's not letting our ego do the talking, because really if our ego does the talking, then we can have knee-jerk reactions and responses and have lower vibrational energy responses. Sometimes we later regret those responses as well. So it's about being truly honest with yourself and Again, by doing that, we can also look at our part to play in a scenario, you know, with this Five of Swords. If there was a breakdown in this kind of friendship, you know, were we partly responsible too? Not always. It can also be, do I want this person back in my life? Do I miss them? Is there an opportunity or should I at least give it a go to rebuild this or not? The choice lies with you in terms of what, whether this can be manifested or not, and that's what the cards are showing. But be true to yourself. That's the energy here. Okay. And if you are, then you make the right choice. The choice is going to be an instinctive one. We have focus on being productive instead of busy. Okay, three of pentacles is a productive energy because you have to build towards a common goal. And only if you build towards a common goal can something be built. Okay, what do we have for cancer as a final message? We have Panther, protection. Consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely. We have Kangaroo, courage. You are being tested. Have faith and stand in your truth. That's that courage energy, again with strength. And we have Dolphin, Atlantis. Healing wisdom is surfacing. Stop and listen. That's what I have for the day. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.